Welcome shooters and collectors to another edition of Side by Side. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really fine pistol, the Hammerly International 208 215 Olympic and or Olympia and the uh, American. This one is the International and there's a, several different variations of these and I've always wanted to do a video on the different subtle variations of the internationals and I'll, I'll point out the, the variations on each pistol as I go along here. Um, if you've been looking for a 22 pistol and you, you know, you've graduated up to like a Smith & Wesson 41 but maybe that's just not quite doing it for you, I really recommend you take a look at these internationals. They are incredibly accurate in fact, uh, I think a, uh, the world record was, in was made in 1978 and it lasted for about 15 years and it, it used one of the International 208, slash 208 pistols. And uh, that just tells you right there that, that really, they really hold up well. Uh, they, sh they shoot great and um, they also retain their value pretty good for what you can uh, pay one for. Typically, they go in, the, depending if they have the box and parts and everything, about uh, 12 or about say depending on condition about 850 to you know up to 15 16 1700 depending on what it is exactly so let's get started sorry for the long wind there um like i said this is a international it's, and this one's kind of interesting because it has the over travel there's like a little screw on the trigger and uh there's a little nut in there i'll try to show that to you a little bit better right there and then also right here this turns and there's like two little red dots and if they're together, they do something, and if they're apart, they do something else, I assume. I don't know what that's for. I always thought it was a safety, like, trigger lock, but when I turn it, uh, the trigger still fires. So if you know what it is, for sure, please leave a comment below. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the uh, for this variation here. I will say that uh, all of the internationals that I've seen have always had this... Uh, lines here for the uh, glare and it's a uh, it's a really nice feature on the on this pistol and everything else is just you know top notch top quality this actually is a it says it's a 73 model the next one we'll be taking a look at is another international this is more of a basic one it doesn't have the over it has an over travel screw there's a an adjustment right there but it doesn't have uh it in the back and then there's another screw adjustment here. I think it's for the, uh, the poundage. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it for this one. I will say these grips, I've purchased them from Sudden Impact Grips. They're really nice. They're great for left-handed, right-handed people. And you'll see them on a lot of my pistols here. They're priced reasonable. They, they feel great. And uh, if you're looking for a set of, I think these are just poly resin grips that are very reasonable. You may want to check them out. The other thing I'll, I'll say about this gun real quick is that you may notice there's no screw here for on the weight. And that's because it's just an aftermarket weight. And I kind of like it because, you know, there's no screw here. It looks really nice and very uh, sleek design. And the screws are actually below right there. Um, other than that, the, 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 uh, these pistols, the trigger currently on both of these, I believe, breaks around three pounds, which is a little heavy. But um, very clean, very crisp, and let's see here. I even got a uh, cap in. I'll, I'll show you the trigger on this one, I guess. Here we go. That's, there's your wall. And that's it. Very clean, very crisp. The next one is actually a 215. Looks very similar to a, an, a an international, and that's a curious thing because the 215, there's not too many differences to it, and the 215s or the 215s seem to bring a lot more money on on um, auction sites like Gunbroker, and I don't want to say people are overpaying, uh, but it, for the money, you know, like if 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 a 215 goes for say 1,300 bucks and you can get a International for 950 or a thousand. That's a lot of ammo you can buy and go practice and be a better shot with. And uh, the barrels are pretty much the same and everything else. The 215s, uh, or let's say let's talk about this one first. Actually, the 215. The uh, difference here is there's a a looks like an it's an adjustable nut for the over travel. And then right here, I think the trigger is adjustable there for the weight. Um, and then the top of the barrel is different and uh instead of having the the 
the grooves going this way. They're very fine and they go back and forth this way. Uh, the sights are the same on the front and back. And that's about it. The triggers are the same. So, you know, if you're, if you're really, you, you'll get on forums, I'm sure, just like I do, and you'll, you want the very best, of course. And people say, oh, it's, it's the 215, it's the 215, or the 208S is probably the top of the, the heap, and then the 215S is right below it. And really the only difference between the two is a uh, finish on the gun. And I'll show you the difference really between a 215 and a 215S. And that's the trigger on the S's. The 208S and the 215S have this adjustable trigger, which is very nice, I do have to admit, but is it worth an extra 500 bucks if this trigger here fits you just fine? Um, that's for you to decide, of course. I do have no grips on this one. And uh, again, it has the, uh, the, groo the really, I'll call them like micro grooves on the barrel here going this way. Uh, this is a phenomenal pistol. Uh, a two, um, I had a Smith & Wesson 41. The 41 lovers are probably going to hate me, but uh, the 41, for some reason I just couldn't hit it, and hit anything with it. And then, so I sold it, and then a few years later I bought another one. I wanted to try it again. Again, couldn't uh, hit anything with it, so I sold it. And then a few years later I found like this 215S. And to be honest with this gun it's hard to miss you know for for what i do it really is it's it fits me for some reason i can shoot it so much better than a than a 41 and i i really love it um it does have a 3.2 front sight so i guess the sights uh they do pop out and they're grooved and they do pop out and i think the press fitted in and um overall it's just a lovely gun to shoot the next one we're going to take a look at this one here is a, again a Hammerley International. This is a 67 model and it's an Olympia. And the trigger is about a, a pound. It's a phenomenal trigger. And I had to cut this down because it's a short. Now a lot of people will really uh, turn their noses up at a short. But if you shoot a centerfire caliber pistol for any amount of time, you'll probably start doing something wrong. And it's always really interesting to go back to a 22 or even more so a 22 short and um, fire it after firing a center fire pistol because you'll really see what you're doing wrong you know are you pulling it to the left is it going to the right when you pull the trigger are you pushing the gun when you fire it, it, it's really shocking um, and, and quite interesting uh, I, ha I hate to admit and I do things as well this gun is uh, is different from the other ones obviously uh, the slide is made out of aluminum because it is a short and uh, it's got a front comp on it here that's very it's very barrel heavy and then this piece here actually loosens up and it can go into the comp and you can twist it however you want for the gases to come out as well and then it's got a two port on the in on the barrel as well uh, the barrel is very heavy it's got a full weight on it and um, it's it's made extremely well and um, if you really want to test your skill with a 22 short or kind of cheat if they, uh, you know, if you go to a gun range and they have like little competitions or something where you try to shoot tennis balls in a row, <laughs> this is an excellent gun because there is just no recoil. You can be on your second, third, fourth shot before, you know, the they uh, get the barrel on sights on the second shot for a nine millimeter. It's, it's just so fast. It's like pop, 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 pop. The next one we'll take a look at is also very similar to the last one, except the muzzle, the barrel's longer, obviously, and it's got a three-port compound, a 22 short, again. The barrel, uh, the, excuse me, the slide is aluminum. This one's called an Olympia. It's got a full muzzle, or a full weight under the barrel. Um, this, this trigger also breaks at, a, at about a pound. This is, uh, it says it's a 65, and what is kind of interesting about this one and is different than the last one is on the back side, this, it's hard to see, I should have gotten a screwdriver to take this off, but um, the slide is actually shorter. It doesn't really look like it, but in here it, it definitely is, and you can actually kind of, let's see if I can show you, you can see the hammer there. It's exposed. And that's, that's kind of different. Uh, again, this is a really fun gun to shoot, and you know, I know a lot of people like probably like I said, they, they look down on 22 shorts, but they are a lot of fun to shoot. 
And then this here unscrews, to, and I guess that's just to help you clean this area out as well. Um, overall, you know, if you if you want to look for a fun gun to to shoot, the um, the 22 shorts are really underrated. People just look past them. They all, they either want a 22 long rifle, and that's it. Also, this one does have a safety and a magazine release, which is a little bit different. It's hard to hit with the. Um, with the uh, grip the way it is, because you can see how wide that comes out there. And the 22 short is a regular magazine, but they have a spacer in the back here, a full metal spacer that goes down and then it's crimped on the thing and the serial number for the gun. As are the grips as well. There's a stamp on the inside, or numbered on the inside for the grips. So all the numbers match. Um, the last one we're gonna take a look at is probably my favorite. And it, it it's, Almost exactly like the last one. Now it doesn't look as impressive without the grips, I know. But it's pretty much the same thing. And this is a 65 model. And um, it's got the longer barrel on it, three port comp. The uh, trigger breaks at about a pound. And it's an American. So being an American one, it's an American model. It's a 22 long rifle. So it's got the best of everything practically on it. And uh, it fires great. The only thing it doesn't have is the adjustable trigger. And back in 65, they just didn't offer that anyway. So um, I'd say this is cream of the crop. If you want a Hammerly, this is, and you like the longer barrel, it is a little heavy on the front end, but um, if you if you really want a Hammerly with the trigger, they, this has an amazing like one pound trigger, 1.1 or so. And uh, this would be the gun that really flies under the radar of all of them. I've seen them go for surprisingly like 11, 1200 bucks, and they're very rare. And I, I, when I saw one, I thought, oh, that'll go for you know, I don't know, seventeen, eighteen hundred, because a two fifteen goes, two fifteen S goes for about fifteen hundred and higher, and it went for thirteen hundred. I was like, oh, I should have bought that. I, but I just never imagined that it would go for that. And they really fly under the radar, and they're they're I really probably the best of the best. So um, you may want to put that on your search. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe or like. And uh, have a good day.